So I'm gonna go right now and implement uh, the body of this uh, reveal letter in word method. So at this moment I don't have it created but I'm just gonna copy the name of it and I'm gonna create it as a void function so it doesn't return anything, it just uh, executes a couple of lines of code and also it takes a parameter and the parameter is gonna be just a character that represents the word that we want to reveal and so basically what we're gonna do in this method is we're just gonna replace the underscores in the word to be displayed with uh, some specific letters and so I'm just gonna go at the very beginning of uh, this program so just uh, above this initialize game method and we're gonna say void and then the name of uh, my method and uh, I'm just gonna use uh, as parameter a char variable which is gonna be called letter so I just have to reveal this letter in my word to be displayed and I have to update both the char array and the string for the word display and uh, right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an integer variable which is gonna be local so just inside this uh, method and we're gonna call it index of letter and so basically by index of letter I refer to um, the exact index of this letter or just position of this letter in the string that is uh, with the word to be guessed and so for example if my word to be guessed is apple and uh, my letter is L then its index is gonna be um, just uh, 3 because the first uh, letter has index 0 so A has index 0 the first B has index 1 the second B has index 2 the L has index 3 so uh, just so you know this is how it works and at this moment we're gonna have the index of letter set up to uh, the word to be guessed and then we're gonna call this index of method so as you can see um, the way this works is just uh, you have to do index of and then you can just uh, specify uh, the character right here so I'm gonna say index of and then we're gonna say uh, letter Okay, so this works. Now, uh, basically what's going to be returned is just going to be a number that represents the index and minus one if it's not found. So uh, we're going to use a while loop so that we can basically get the first index, then all the other indexes and uh, replace the underscores. And for the condition, we're going to say while index of the letter is greater or equal to zero. So that means while the index of uh, my letter is uh, something that basically is positive and if it's positive that means that my letter is inside my word now if uh, this is minus one my while loop is not gonna run so if that letter is not inside my word my while loop is not gonna run uh, if it is inside then it's just gonna run um, until I have some word uh, some letter inside my word and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna replace right now um, in my char, in my char array I'm gonna say word display char array of uh, index of letter so on that position basically I have right now an underscore and I'm gonna set it equal to um, word to be guessed dot character at and then I have to pass this index so I'm gonna say index of letter so at this moment, in the position when I have an underscore, I'm going to replace it with that uh, specific letter that I want to reveal. And so at this moment, I'm revealing what I should. The only problem at this time is that I need to also make sure that I uh, go to the next index of that letter. So as I said uh, at the uh, beginning, if you have uh, Apple and you're trying to find letter L, then it's just a letter and so uh, it has only one occurrence but you have a letter P then you have to find the second occurrence of it and in order to find the second occurrence we're gonna set index of letter equal to uh, the next time uh, we have that uh, um, letter so we're gonna say word to be guessed and then we're gonna try to say index of but we can also do um, as you can see character and then start so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna say uh, letter so try to find this letter but start from index of letter 
plus one. So what this means is that we're gonna try to find that letter, and we're gonna skip. Um, just uh, we're gonna try to find it starting from uh, the next letter. So just the next occurrence. So that's basically how it works. If you have, for example, the string apple, and you want to find letter P, then uh, it's just gonna start to find my letter starting from uh, the last three words. So basically. Um, the index of letter is gonna be uh, 1, so the position of the first P, and then the second time is gonna try to find it from, uh, is gonna try to find the letter P inside this uh, string that is containing P L E. So basically, that's how it's gonna go, and that's how it's work. So at this moment, we have the while loop created, and it's uh, just uh, working very well. Now, we only have to update also, um, so I'm going to leave a comment, update the string as well. So at this moment we have the char array updated, but we don't have the uh, word displayed as a string updated, so we're going to update it as well. So we're going to say, um, we're going to take the string dot value of, so the value of this uh, character array, we're going to store it also inside the string. So we're going to say word displayed char array. And at this moment we have everything set up and also I'm going to leave a comment right here loop just uh, if um, index is so if index is positive or zero um, because that's when we have uh, a letter inside my word now if uh, we don't have this letter inside this word our program is not going to do, uh, so just this uh, method is not going to do anything because uh, uh, we, we're not doing the check here, we're just revealing the letter in Word and so uh, that's basically what this does.